Good morning, everyone. We are starting a new week. It is Monday, November 7th, and we're taking a look at the futures chart here. This is actually the weekly future chart, and I have this up <clears throat> because last week, wow, what a ride it was, right? So we had made this nice um, low. We closed the, a couple of weeks ago right there on the 200. We've talked about this 200. We pushed back up above, had another nice week, then last week came in. This actually is an engulfing candle, just barely, and it's hard to tell, um, but it is. This this little wick actually comes up above the previous week's high, so it is an engulfing candle, and now we're starting our week inside. So, still a very mixed picture. A lot of this was on the Fed move. Um, obviously, we were we had been waiting for that, and it came out, and the uh, although the presser or sorry, the, the statement seemed a little bit more dovish. The press briefing came in with a huge wallop. Um, Jay Powell definitely had on his bear, and uh, or his hawk, I guess you would say, and he was incredibly hawkish, sending our markets down. Now, we did have a little bit of a recovery later in the week. I'll push this back to a daily. Friday, we actually came in, did okay. Um, so we're still kind of waiting on pins and needles. We have CPI data out later this week. That will definitely be a market mover. That is a lot of what is used for the Fed uses to gauge um, how inflation is, uh, obviously how inflation is measured. So, again, it's all lagging, but it, it's an important data point, and that's on Thursday. Until then, we have a slew of speakers every day. Someone's out. Some uh, Fed speaker is out doing their thing. So just keep that in mind. Um, as we move forward here for the week. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, still like have this stupid cough. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so here we are. This is the S&P futures here this morning. We're actually putting in a higher high, or sorry, a higher low. We'll see if we put in a higher high and kind of get back up above that 50. Yeah, it, sorry, just a, yeah I wish the blackout periods were like all the time, but um, well, again, for some reason, the Fed doesn't ask me my opinion. Here's a look at the NASDAQ. I do want to point out that this morning, Apple is moving down pretty hard on some news. Here, let me pull this so that you can see it real quick. I think it's kind of interesting that even though Apple is down, um, the market itself is actually doing pretty darn well looking to move up here this morning. So Apple is such a heavy weight in the market. Um, the fact that it's down at 136, just a, a just a smidge above 136, that's a pretty big deal here. Um, okay, so just keep that in mind. If this reverses, I think the market will take a nice little leg higher there. Okay, so let's get back over here to what I'm watching this morning. Oh, you know, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the commodities. Might as well. Uh, crude oil just kind of sitting. That actually so early in the day, but if this candle finishes looking something like this, I would expect a pop to continue tomorrow in oil. We saw gold actually put up a nice little fight on Friday. Again, if this candle looks something like this at the end of the day, I would expect this to go higher. We tested this trend line pretty perfectly, and this came back from um, from back here in August and then connecting in early October. So uh, some to keep an eye on, but the, uh, overall, gold and precious metals have been in an Incredible downtrend. So just kind of keep that in mind if you decide to trade it. But this morning, I'm heading back over into financials. Really, I'll tell you what, these have performed so well with rate hikes. So they're, you know, they can um, definitely make some money on that, right? Because they're being paid more. So, um, and of course, debt servicing, all, all of that kind of comes into some of these banks. Big earnings mover. We took a little pause. We rode this up, took another little pause. We've been kind of in and out of it. I'm completely out of it right now on this gap that we had on Friday, but looking for continuation. We're, we're looking to break here over the previous resistance, which is what we're doing here pre-market. So I'm looking at the December 16th, 130 call. Now it is above that, so I would look more for an opening range break, probably on the 15 minute. I'm going to stop at 128.40 depending on where I get in. If I get in an opening range break, it'll be the um, the low of the opening range would be my stop out. But if I get in at the price I would like, 128.40 would be my, um, I want to get in around 130.83. 
So 128 would be my stop on that, looking for a break of this. Then look at, we kind of open up. So we come up here. Our next stop is up here at 133.15 and then on up to 136.10. So a lot of room here. 136.10 is actually just this Fibonacci line. That's a nice little target here like JPM, but you can look at any Good morning, of everyone. Sorry. You can look at um, the other financial names if you prefer uh, Goldman Sachs. I really like that. Oops. I like that one. So there's a lot of uh, financial names that you could go in and take a look at. It doesn't have to be JP Morgan. All right. Oddly enough, shop has found its way on my list here for the first time, and I can't tell you how long. So you might wonder why. Well, here, I'm going to pull this up. Make it a little bit easier. Oops, a little bit easier to see. So post earnings, we had this nice little push. There's a smidge of a gap in there, right? Came back in, tested, pushing back up. I would like to take this up, coming back up through the eight. So it's a bit of a reversal play. Started the reversal, so we'll call it a recovery play. A little bit of a reversal there on Friday, but I like this look, pushing back up, especially meeting up with these two bottom candles. That's just above the eight. I like the thirty-three call. I like it at 3275. I would stop around 3130. And uh, my targets are 35 and then 3640. So those are the only two I set up. But there's a lot of them in here I like. Um, I love McDonald's. This is a beautiful bull flag setup. They just didn't have the open interest that I was looking for. But if these catch a nice little bit here today, the 280 is the one I like. So keep an eye on McDonald's. These were the other ones I really wanted to uh, put out of play here in CAT. However, again, waiting to see, they just didn't have quite the open interest nor volatility in these that I was looking for. So I didn't set it up, but keep an eye on these two. Nice bullish gap, right? We had a bullish gap post earnings, another bullish gap looking to test recent highs. CAT is doing well. Honeywell, uh, another <laughs> earnings winner that just did not stop. Looks very similar. Bull flag already playing out there. Uh, you can look at deer. A little choppier here in deer. Kind of gave back a little bit. They have earnings yet to come up. So um, just keep an eye on that. Again, energy and oil. I still like energy and oil. Underwater here still. Um, Occidental and they do have earnings coming up. So I'll sneak out of those before um, earnings or at least most of it before earnings. But the, I think oil is still, energy and oil is still in a great spot. Some of these looking for reversals to continue here, like Devon Energy. Take a look at that one. XOM, beautiful here in XOM. Nice big bull flag playing out. See if you get the continuation on that here today. So there are a lot of names out there. Watch for a reversal in Apple. Um, if not, but it has to have a meaningful reversal. We're seeing Meta actually up a little bit this morning after being well, they are in the 80s. Can you believe it? Uh, this morning, I think they're actually sitting right around 90-something. So keep an eye on all of these. And again, watch for that Fed speak to come out. We're going to look and see or, or listen for maybe a little bit of a shift in um, what they, especially after CPI, I guess. So maybe not till Thursday. But if we get a little bit of a cooler number, our jobs report actually had a pretty mixed picture inside so a little bit for everyone in that jobs report and we'll see if that will um, allow for some uh, fed slowing or pause. I don't think they're going to pause but maybe just reducing the interest rate hike from about from 75 basis points to 50 this next time okay that is it for me here this morning if you have any questions reach out definitely be watching the financials very very heavily and then some of those basic materials oh you know what the one i did not talked about this one last week so many times boeing beautiful they had their investor day they moved really well they're tested the 200 they're up above that this morning still on a pretty nice vertical lift here so uh keep an eye on boeing i would probably stick to a day trade on that because it definitely feels like it's incredibly um, overbought right now so it probably needs a little bit of a break but day trading this can be a great little um, trader okay that is it for me here this morning if you have any questions reach out heather c giving tree trading.com